Yo, what is going on guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with the million, back again with another daily video. Hope everybody's day is going well. Thank you so much for checking out the podcast yesterday with me and Jez, hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, hitting that bell for notifications so you get notified when I drop a new video. Really appreciate that. We're going to have another Rand's Rant today about uh, refunds. So this was pretty interesting. Um, if So yesterday... And I didn't make a video about this because I did the podcast, but we talked about it on the podcast. But I'm going to talk about it here because I think this is important to talk about. Microsoft is now offering self-service refunds on Xbox Live. So the way it works is it's only in the insider ring for the alpha preview members right now. So they want to test it and get it right. Uh, things like that. So basically... You can get a refund as long as the game you bought is within 14 days of purchase and you have played less than two hours of playtime across all accounts. DLC, season passes, add-ons are not eligible. You have to actually download the game and launch it before requesting a service. You have to wait one day before you can request a refund. There are certain... Uh, apps on Windows 10 that you can't, you know, that are blocked from getting refunds. And Microsoft, of course, reserves the right to block access for users who abuse these refunds. Now, this is such a pro consumer move. We know that everything is basically moving more and more towards digital. And, you know, when you used to buy a game from Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, it says right there no refunds, right? As soon as you buy it, it's like, you bought it, no refunds. Now, you could call and maybe get a, a nice customer support person who would, you know, authorize a refund, but you couldn't do it a lot. Now, Steam has this exact same policy in place. I think they implemented it last year, and now Xbox is the first of the consoles to take it. And this basically is just putting Sony and Nintendo on notice. Now that Microsoft has done this, the onus is on the other two to follow suit. Because this is just good for gamers. The idea of... Because, I mean, you, you buy a game from GameStop or Best Buy or any of those other physical retail stores. You can get a you know a refund. You can exchange your game. There are things you can do with that copy. Whether it's sell it on eBay or whatever. You have a multitude of different avenues of getting rid of the game or exchanging the game and getting your money back. Where you don't have that with digital and it's nice to see that we're moving now into refunds. And maybe down in the future, maybe even trade-ins. Although that is a little bit more murkier. But yeah, this is such a great idea. Now, I don't have any... You know, I own a lot of games on Xbox One. I play a lot of them. But I have no... Uh, I'm, I, I'm, there's nothing like... If I buy a game, I, I buy a game. I don't think I'm going to refund it. But there are instances and cases where a kid buys the game on the account by accident. You know, things like that where this would come in handy. Or if you just buy a game, you know, say like No Man's Sky. How that game was really overhyped last year and people were just turned off by it. You know, if this was available on Sony's platform, they could have just refunded it right then and there. So, this is such a great thing. So great. I commend everybody at Microsoft for getting this done. You know, from Phil to Mike Ibarra to everybody out there who had anything to do with this. Bravo. Round of applause. <laughs> Refunds are on Xbox One. Hopefully, because of this, we get, uh, you know, the Sony fans and Nintendo fans are able to uh, get this too. But it puts the onus on them. Now, I've seen some people and some chatter already that they're going, some people are going to try to exploit this. Now, there are a lot of achievement uh, whores out there, I would call them. Um, you know, I'm an achievement guy. I don't know if I call myself a whore, but uh, I love achievements. Now, there are games out there that you can complete in under two hours for all the achievements. And I've seen people talk about how they can't wait to buy those games and get all the achievements and then eventually refund it. But Microsoft, in the, in the you know, in the little, like, dotted lines not the dotted lines but the, the small print they've said that they reserve the right to block the feature and, and if you abuse it they might even uh ban your account so don't think that you can just like abuse this feature and be like well i'm gonna buy all these games 
and then I'm going to get all the gamer score for those games, and I'm going to get my money back. Eh, not going to happen. Sorry. Sorry to burst your bubble, but it just ain't going to happen. This this feature shouldn't be abused. This feature should be used strictly just for games that are broken or a game that you just absolutely despise in the first two hours, right? Or maybe that just doesn't work. Get your money back. Get your full money back. I'm, I'm I know like two hours is a little bit low. I, I I'm I'm cool with the fourteen days, but I know two hours is a little bit low. But I mean, hey, there's got to be some kind of leeway, right? I mean. Three hours, four hours. I mean, it's got to be at some point. Like, like, because I see people complaining about the time. Like, well, two hours isn't enough. But it's like, what do you send it to? Five hours? Ten hours? I mean, at some point, it's like, well, that's you can c- complete a lot of the games or at least a lot of the single player in that amount of time. So I think two hours is fair. Two hours is probably a, a, a good estimate estimation if you maybe like a game or not. I, I don't know if any glitches will come out of it, but. Yeah, bravo to Microsoft. You know, another uh, another great move from them. And now because of it, Sony and Micro- Sony and Nintendo are going to feel that pressure. Not from Microsoft, but pressure from their own fans. I saw that the thread on this on the PlayStation's Reddit had like 50,000 upvotes. Like when something like this happens, something good like this happens, fans of other services take notice. And they're going to want this. They're going to want to be able to get refunds from their respective places. So that Microsoft has stepped up to the ball game. Now Sony and Nintendo are going to have to step up to the ball game. The question is which one does it first? Because I think they're both going to have to do it. I think probably Sony does it first. Micro, you know, Nintendo's a little bit more... Mm, they do their own kind of thing. But I think Sony eventually... Oh, actually, I don't know. I mean, Sony, you can't even change your name on PSN. So who knows if they even do this. Maybe they kind of just... Don't even, you know, and, and then Sony's notoriously hard to get refunds for. So does Sony even do anything? Who knows? Maybe not. But I'm excited. This is such a great move. I'm happy that Xbox has adopted the Steam model and we have refunds now on Xbox. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Hit that like button. If you liked the video, consider subscribing for more content. And I will see everybody later.